this topic is based on leveling if you look at the question there we'll leave this part we'll start with this one we'll do that later on when the school will start a landscape of a proposed road is given below the position and the readings of the pegs and the theodolite from where readings were taken are also shown in the diagram you are required using the information from the diagram complete the level book right so before we complete the level book we need to know what all this means what is all this right so this is the stuff this is where the readings are taken this is where you are standing your current position i right your station i this is your station b this is your station c and this is your station d so at station a we have two readings 4.0 and 3.0 at station b we have 4.5 and 2.5 at station c we have 3 3.5 3.0 and 2.5 station d you have 2 2.0 and 3.0 right so this is the readings we are going to take to fill our level book and to do that first of all we need to know what is bs is and fs bs is back side this is the first side from our station right so if you look at a 4.0 will become back side because this is the first side taken from station a now if you look at is it's a inter side this means if you look at any station apart from the first site and the last site whatever you have anything else in the middle that will become inter site let's look at this one station c this is your back site because this is the first site this one is your foresight because this is the last site now in between your back site and foresight we have one more 3.0 so that becomes your inter site right So let's write down the stuff's names here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Remarks. So stuff 1 is our starting point. I can also call it as benchmark. Now staff 2 will become our change point. Why I am saying change point? Because if you look at staff 2, we have two readings 3.0 and 4.5. So wherever we have two readings, it will become change point. Staff 3 also have two readings 2.5 and 3.5, so that's also a change point. Staff 4 only one reading so we'll leave that blank nothing there. Staff 5 change point again because it has two readings. And staff 6 is where we are going to finish. Now the distance here it's already written here 0, 100, 250 so we'll write all this here 0, 100, 250. 300 at staff 5 we have 400 and the last one staff 6 we have 500 right now to fill all these first of all we have to find bs is and fs from there we'll find rise and fall and after that we'll fill up the reduced level although the, although the reduced levels are given here but i'll tell you how to fill it from the table right so let's go back to the diagram here first site it's called back site so we'll label this as bs now you follow the same line this will become fs because this is the last site go up 
that's your reading from station B it will become BS your backside now follow that same line this will become foresight now go to station C first one is here so that is BS the last one is here so that is foresight FS now there's one more in between BS and FS so that will become IS likewise here this will become BS this will become FS so one has a reading of BS of 4.0 one BS 4.0 now two has two readings two it will have two readings one is BS one is FS so VS is 4.5 and FS is 3.0 go to 3 it has also two readings BS of 3.5 FS of 2.5 BS of 3.5 FS of 2.5 number 4 has one reading IS of 3.0 number 4 IS so 3.0 will be written here number 5 again 2 readings FS 2.5 and BS 2.0 and last one number 6 has 1 reading of FS 3.0 so 6 FS 3.0 right since you have already filled your BS, IS and FS, now go to rise and fall. To fill rise and fall, it's like this. BS minus IS, or oh no, BS minus FS, because you don't have any IS here. The first one here will be blank. For number two, it will be BS minus IS. So let me just draw a line here. So 4.0 minus 3.0 is going to give you 1.0. 1.0 is a rise. Why is it a rise? Because 4 minus 3 is going to give you positive 1. Let's say if you are getting an answer as negative 1, then you will be uh, writing your answer under fall. You won't be using the signs there, positive or negative, but you will write the answer under fall. So if you get positive answer, you will write it as rise. Negative answer, you will write it as but do not use the signs right so we have done this BS minus IS first answer there next one you again go to the BS minus IS you cannot subtract this way so 4.5 minus 2.5 is going to give you positive 2.0 so that is also a rise next one go to BS we have a IS here right so here it was BS minus FS you get 2.0 now here BS minus IS 3.5 minus 3.0 you get positive 0 0.5 now 3.0 IS minus FS 3.0 minus 2.5 you again get positive 0 0.5 now the last one 2.0 minus 3.0 BS minus FS you get answer is negative 1.0 so it will be written under fall as 1.0 do not use the symbols now how to calculate your reduced levels the starting reduced level is given here 100 now if it is rise you will write or you will add if it is fall you will minus so this one is rise 100 plus 1 is 101 you can say point 0 there point 0 here 101 plus 2 right so whatever you get the answer you add it to the next one 101 plus 2 is 103.0 103 plus 0 0.5 is 103.5 103 plus 103.5 plus 0 0.5 is again 104.0 this one is false so you'll minus 104.0 minus 1.0 is going to give you 
3.0 right so we have already filled the columns now you can do check to check number one sum of bs minus sum of fs number two rise minus sum of fall and number three right your last uh, the third checkup your last reduce level minus the first reduce level and all these three answers should match and when your answers match this means your table is correct so let's add our bs 4 plus 4.5 plus 3.5 plus 2.0 that is going to give us 14 now let's add our FS we don't have to do anything with IS it's BS minus FS so 3 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 3.0 is going to give us 11 so 14 minus 11 is going to give us 3 Right, you can do the calculation here also. You'll get three. Now rise and fall. One, two, three. This is going to give us four. Four minus one is also going to give us three, so that's also correct. So four minus one is going to give us three. The last one. Last reduced level is one zero three. First reduced level is hundred. So one zero three minus hundred is going to give us also this means our table is correct right so that is how you fill your level books let's go to the next exercise the next worksheet there this one I will do it then the remainder of the exercise this one on this worksheet on the other worksheet, the first worksheet, you should be able to do it yourself. Right? If you look at this side here, you don't have rise and fall, but you are asked to complete the reduced level, right? Let us fill the stuff first. It will be one, two, three four five six and seven now first one will be when you don't have rise and fall and you want to fill up your reduced level this is what you are going to do first I will subtract this 4.18 minus 3.09 so when I do that 4.18 minus 3.09 is going to give us 1.09 right so 100 since 1.09 is a positive number it will be 100 plus 1.09 which will give us 100.09 then you have two intersites here so it will be intersite minus intersite remember you cannot go this way you cannot go this way you can go diagonal like this, you can go this way and you can go that way. So 3.09 minus 1.98 I get 1.11 so plus 101.09 and I'll get 102.20 so this is how you're going to fill that up I've already done it till here then you subtract this one with that whatever answer you get positive you plus with that negative you subtract it with that so you'll subtract this one you'll get answer here then this one is that you can try and complete that right let's look at the next one
okay I'm going to do the next exercise and after this you should be able to do all the other exercise yourself right, so two exercises should be enough I can feel the distance 0, 35, 70, 140 0, 35, 70, 105 and 140 since I don't have the staff column here my staffs are written like A, B, C, D and E I'll write it under remarks A, B, C, D and E A is your starting point uh, if you want you can write it also as benchmark and E is your finish that's why I'm going to end right now let's fill up the BSI SNFS and to that to do that we have to identify but in this diagram it's already labeled so that's easy for you staff I BS 4.75 staff I BS 4.75 staff B has a IS of 3.90 staff C it has two readings BS of 1.2 and FS of 0 0.5 so 1.2 will be BS and 0 0.5 will be FS staff D IS of 3.7 and staff E FS of 5.10 right so let's find the rise and fall 4.75 minus 3.90 I'm going to get 0 0.85 positive so I'll write it under here you know your first column will be blank so 4.75 minus 3.90 is going to give us positive 0 0.85 you're going to write it here then 3.90 minus 0 0.5 these two subtract you get 3.4 and the answer is still positive so under rise after you finish here when you reach FS you go back to BS so 1.2 minus 3.7 1.2 minus 3.7 will give me answer of negative 2.5 right so negative 2.5 means that is a fall I will be writing it under fall but I will not use the negative sign there just the number then 3.7 minus 5.1 so 3.7 minus 5.1 is giving me negative 1.4 that's also a fall so you write it here now your starting reduced level is 50 RL 50 if it is rise you plus if it is fall you minus so 50 plus 0 0.85 is 50.85 then 50.85 plus 3.4 54.25 then 54.25 will be minus 2.5 because that's a fall and I get 51.75 then minus 1.4 because that's also a fall and I get 50.35 right so I filled up my table now let's check check one will be sum of BS minus sum of FS check two will be sum of rise minus sum of fall and check three 
your last reduce level minus first reduce level so if I add this to 4.75 plus 1.2 I get 5.95 0 0.5 plus 5.10 is going to give me 5.60 then when I add this to that is going to give me 4.25 when I add this to that is going to give me 3.9 right so first one 5.95 minus 5.60 is going to give me 0 0.35 right second one 4.25 minus 3.9 is also going to give me 0 0.35 and the third one 50.35 that's your last reduced level minus 50 is going to give me 0 0.35 so all this is matching this mice means my table is correct right so in the similar manner I can do this one exercise and the exercises that will be or the next last worksheet on that workbook